Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to talk about the tangent and intersected chord theorem. So in black here we have what this theorem tells us. It says the measure of each angle formed is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So on our diagram over here on the right we have angle one and angle two. Our tangent here is uh, this line at the bottom um, and it intersects our circle at point A. And we have a chord which is chord AC. So now measure of angle one, it tells us is just half of the measure of the major arc ABC. So our major arc would be this arc here, and our angle one would be half of that major arc measure. For angle two, our measurement is just going to be half of our minor arc, which is AC. And now we're gonna take a look at a couple of examples, okay? So pretty straightforward when we're dealing with the tangent and intersected chord theorem, so here we go. Number one, we want to find the measure of angle one. So we are given the measure of the major arc, it is 210 degrees. So all we have to do is take half of that to find the measure of angle one. So half of 220 would be 110 degrees. And the second example and final example that we're gonna do in this video, we want to now find the measure of major arc B, C, A. So this entire arc out here. Well, now we kind of have to think backwards. We are given the angle measure is 140 degrees. So now to get the major arc measure, we wanna multiply that by two. So 140 times two would just give us 280 degrees, okay? And that's it for the tangent and intersected chord theorem.